are we talking about cultural and festival costume? Well, I guess, yes, I'm right. This is part of our culture. My name is Ms. Yuki Ito. An 18 year old stunner. 19. 20. Fine. Yoyo pang 100. Happy? Okay, all the way where the longest Lansen procession is celebrated. Baliwag City, province of Bulacan. Saying. Mga girls, luma na yan. Wala bang bago? Sabay-sabay natin kantahin. Dito tayo, dito tayo. Chris Felicious ang tawa. Sa Jollibee, Jensen, Pina ang chicken. Sayang ang chicken. Mahal sa Jollibee, libre ang tubig. Bigyan ang judges. Thank you. The backstage, meron kami isang kandidata. I would like to ask dito sa kabila, si Yuki. Hi, Yuki. Come here. Join us. Yes, and we also have, of course, our beautiful Rojean Bohian from Davao City, our candidate number 19 partner. Ano bang pinaghahandaan mo sa gabing ito, Yuki? And uh, ano bang ipapakita mo ngayon sa stage? Marami pa silang dapat abangan ngayong gabi kasi pinaghandaan ko talaga ito because I believe in this organization at kung ano ang goal natin ay pare-pareho. Kaya naman, let's just enjoy tonight's event at magandang Jensen! Ayan, thank you so much, Chiki. For you, Rujin, my question is, what do you think are the three qualities to be Miss Mandarigmat Philippines 2023? I think the three things are Brave, bravery is very important. The second is compassion, and the last one is authenticity. We are looking for a very authentic beauty queen tonight. Okay. Very well said. Excited, right. excited, na, excited ng ating mga kandidata for their casual attire and play suit competition, VO. I'm a Bambam Auto Supply is from Baliwag, Bulacan, candidate number 13, Yuki Ito. From the Ligma 13, Yuki Ito from Baliwag, Bulacan. Congratulations, Yuki. This DPI print, the solution is candidate number... From Baliwa Pulakan number 13, Yuki Ito. <laughs> Congratulations, Yuki. And our next award is Miss Ken Urban. Our Miss Ken Urban will receive a sash and a gift bag. Congratulations, Arby and Yuki. Just enjoy the night. Yeah. yeah. Good. Congratulations. Our next award is Marifet Duterte's Choice. From the Rigma 13, you can eat
the lady who stand out in the national costume. Creativity, inventiveness, resourcefulness, exuding great deployment of the attire capture the audience and the judges' preference. Miss Mandaragma Philippines 2023 Best in National Costume is candidate number. Baliwag Bulacan, number 13, Yuki Eat. Congratulations, Yuki. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's proceed with our next minor award, the best in... The best in interview, or interview, how do you pronounce? <laughs> our best in interviews for the candidate who elaborated and delivered well herself during the closed interview last September 1, 2022, 2023 at the Ultimate Event Center. And the best in interview goes to candidate number... Congratulations, Yuki! Si Yuki, tida ang saya. And our last minor award is the best. Baliwag Bulacan, number 13, Yuki Ito! Congratulations! And for our fourth spot, it's candidate number, candidate number 30, Earth, John Redis. I are John Redis. Yuki, your 30 seconds starts now. We are all free to express whatever we want to, but we also have to be considerate on what others might feel regarding our personal expression. We need to use our voices, not just for our own interest, but to help, to educate, and inspire other people. I hope tonight, this little voice can make a big impact. Thank you very much, Mandarigma 13. Mandarigma 13. Next time our panelist is number 13. Yeah, number 13. <laughs> Congratulations for making the spot. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we want you now to pick, of course, and let me read your question. You've got good luck, Miss Baliwag Bulacan. Thank you, Miss Matrika May. Uh, you have question, or you pick question number four. Lucky number four. Okay. Your question is, LGBTQIA plus children face emotional violence from various people around them. Sadly, Physical violence inflicted by parents often come with emotional violence. If this is the case, LGBTQI plus children' sense of safety in various spheres is in their lives show that safe and affirming spaces will be scant. What appropriate measure should the Philippine government take to ensure that the child is protected against all forms of discrimination or punishment on the basis of status, activities, expressed opinions, or beliefs of his or her parents, legal guardians, or family members. Your time starts <laughs> now. Oh my goodness gracious. This has been a very long time issue. All we need to do is to actually support the passing of Soji Bill because it doesn't only protect the youth or the member of the LGBT community, but it protects us all. We have to face it. We have to voice out and do the right thing. We all need change. Thank you so much. Thank you, candidate number 13. 13. 
And for the third spot for our top 10, it's candidate number 24. Thank you. Okay. You are one of the top and final five semifinalists. You made it. Baliwa Kulakan 13, Yuki Ito. All right, three more candidates to go. Moving one step closer to the crowd is candidate number, candidate number 24, Bert, Bert Tadazo. Oh, Yolik. <laughs> As it is to make it this far, our candidates have no time to celebrate yet because right now they will face the final question. Candidate, okay. candidate number 13, Yuki Hu. <laughs> Yuki Ito. The invincible. Yeah, the invincible. <laughs> okay. Yuki Ito. Let's solve the final question. It's yeah. a mouthful. Okay. Are you ready? The final question is. I'll go for that. <laughs> the stigmatization of nonconformity to gender norms is so deeply embedded in the society and institutions that it translates to policies, practices, and behaviors that restrict, punish, and abuse LGBTQIA plus people. In our country, no specific and comprehensive national policy has been passed for the protection and promotion of the rights of the LGBTQIA plus people. Similarly, there has yet to be a legislation which will give legal recognition to the transgender people's gender identity, allow for the gender markers and new name or to be reflected in the legal documents recognize them as parties to a legal union and eventually give them rights as co-parents to a child. What can the Philippine government do to address this gap and to better respect, protect, and fulfill the rights of the LGBTQIA plus people as thinking, feeling, and living individuals? Yes. No time limit. <laughs> Small steps regarding these rights that we are fighting is already considered a big step. So upon reading this question, it only reminds me something. That we are getting closer to what we deserve. Because do not forget that LGBT rights is human rights. And I think it's about time not just to protect, tolerate, or whatever it is. It's about time to understand what we are fighting for. Because at the end of the day, whether you like it or not, we will remain standing. Because we are a true mandirigma. Daghang salama. Thank you so much, Shuki Ito. Candidate number 13. 13. Yeah. Our next candidate, we will have... Miss Mandrigma Tourism is candidate number 